we've had a very uh, volatile week here. It seems this market has a very short attention span. One day it's worried about one thing, the next day it's comforted by something else, then it's worried, then it's comforted. What do you make of what's going on here? Yeah, you know, I think this is kind of natural as we get later and later cycle in the U.S. economy. Um, we have the Fed in play, and now we have tail risks from both the China trade tensions, uh, Turkey and the EM potentially contagion there. So what we're seeing is increased volatility, yes, some sector rotation, as we've heard. You know, the, the investors that have been in tech and discretionary, they've done quite well, up about 15 percent year to date. So we think it's natural for those sectors to take a little bit of a pause, a little bit of profit taking. But we, we're encouraging investors to round that out with some energy potentially. And then healthcare and staples are areas that can do well even in a downturn. But what are you advising? Like, are you, follow, are you encouraging people to follow this defensive rotation? We actually are uh, encouraging a little bit of a defensive rotation here. We think it's important that you round out your technology portfolio with some more defensive okay. stocks as we get later and later cycle. Absolutely. Rob, it looks like a lot of your top picks are in tech land. Exactly right. Yes, I've been a big fan of technology for a long time. And I think we're in a unique period of time in our economy, uh, taking advantage of new developments in, in technology to a higher level. And it's really about artificial intelligence. That term is used a lot, and it's really hard to understand. But using data to run businesses better is the bottom line of artificial intelligence. It's basically combining information to operate your business more efficiently. I was in the New York Stock Exchange last week listening to a company named Rollins. They're the leading pest company. Talk about their improvements in operating margin over the last 10 years. And they improved it about 600 basis points. And I think that's a great example of how technology is helping businesses, a very common business that just goes into your house and eliminates pets, right. operate so. at a better level. So we're seeing this throughout the economy, and I think investors need to stay in the, these spaces. NVIDIA, I think, is a great way to, to invest, Adobe, So uh, even Google, with the sell-off that we've seen in NVIDIA, you're not worried about that? And you're not worried about the rotation is, that we've been talking about out of tech? That's not a signal to you? You're not worried that the market's going to abandon you so, with a, such a heavy tech focus? No, this is part of investing. You know, we get volatility, we get corrections, we get profit taking. Oftentimes a company reports great earnings like Nvidia did and market sells off. That's just investors taking a shorter term focus. The long term focus on all of those companies I mentioned is very positive. Now, it doesn't mean you make money every month or week or or, you know, even every six months. But longer term, they're, they've been very good performers. And I see our economy in a unique space today, taking advantage of that over the next five or 10 years. Can I, and can I, don't I interrupt think we're you the, one more time, though? You talked about sure. the short termism. I mean, you, are you in yep. agreement with President Trump? Would you accept earnings reports only every six months? Since I think you're a long term it's a really investor? I know, I know in Europe uh, the companies do it every six months, and I agree with the comments that uh, good investors get the information they need to stay with the investors. I think it may create a little more volatility not having as much information. So I, I think um, there's no easy answer to that. And uh, I think more information generally is good for investors, and I, I'm not sure what the right thing to do is. I'd like to hear the debate from the SEC, what they think. We'll put you on the spot too, Mona. What do you, think? you know, actually, from a portfolio management perspective, we kind of feel that the six-month period is a nice time. It's, it's kind of harder to, every quarter, try to go to your investors and say, this is what our portfolio has done. So it's kind of nice to have that longer tailwind there, and it's, you don't see a lot of easier for you? rotation. Yeah, you know, there's I mean, window dressing at the end of every quarter that people You don't think that's going to happen every six months? Don't you think that everything that happens every quarter is yes. going to happen every, every six, six months, months, but in bigger scale, on a bigger scale? The volatility would be bigger because right, you've because been without information. For so long. Well, you know, you could also get that longer term period. The company will be investing on a longer term basis and maybe you get better they information. They can do that now. They, they can do that they now. They can but do that now. You can ignore all the quarterly reports right now if you want to. Bill, <laughs> yeah, Bill Jordan said yeah. he did. <laughs> yeah, the, the people that can ignore it, they're all for the better. The people that have to kind of report to their investors every quarter, they're, they're suffering every quarter. So.